Well, that sucks. What are we gonna do? I don't know. Hey guys, my name's James. And I'm Ashley. We sold our house, and we are traveling across the country with our kids. My name's Goose, and this is Maverick. Come join us. So today was supposed to be a hangout and relax day uh, where we were just chilling at the RV park, going on the beach because they have a cool little waterfront beach thing over there and just kind of hanging out and relaxing outside doing a picnic, all sorts of fun things outside. And then this gray nasty sky rolled in and it started raining. So instead of that outside, what are we doing inside Goose? We're doing an inside picnic and I'm Mommy's on food duty, but now she's doing dishes. Daddy's on the ground duty. Mommy's doing dishes. Goose is helping by drying dishes. Maverick is playing with sharp objects. But this is what living in an RV is like on a rainy day. You just adapt your plans. You still can hang out, still have fun. I'm still gonna do work. Me and Goose did schoolwork this morning. For the very first time, Goose did triple digit edition and she did all this pretty much by herself. So honestly, the rain doesn't massively affect how our average day goes. We still get up in the morning. The girls still do their show in the morning. We drink our coffee and relax. Then we do some homework. I do some work. And usually after that, uh, we go outside and do some sort of activity, but because it's raining, we've adapted it and we're just not going to be able to play on the beach today, so we're going to do an inside picnic, maybe watch a show or something, play some board games. Uh, Mommy just got, what was the game that you just got the other day? Shoots and Ladders. Oh, I thought you got a game for me and you, no? Oh, I was going to, but then I didn't. Oh, she found the uh, Legends of the Hidden Temple game. Because we need four. Oh, that's why we didn't get it as a four player or more. And that's like a throwback to my childhood, so I was kind of excited about that. But we'll probably play some board games and just kind of hang out inside today. What is wrong, love? She's getting this one's teething, and, and that is never fun. She has a cold. What? She's teething, she has a cold, and she I think she's on a growth spurt. All right, Goose, you got the picnic all set up? Yep. Why don't you tell me what you did? So here's Mom's cup. Okay. Which is the Lion King. Very nice. Here's my cup, which is Bambi. Very good. Careful, careful. And Daddy's one is Star Wars, of course. <laughs> Very nice. Why don't you tell them what you did here? What did you explain what this is and the pillows back there and all that? Okay, so this all is the sand. Okay. Which I'm saying in the sand. And this is the water. Which okay. my feet... With what? Oh, your feet are in the water? I thought it was super cute. She recreated the beach, which is right there inside because it's raining so we got the water and sand and there's the sun and what's that the clouds, the clouds. very cool and watch and mommy's got some meatloaf and macaroni all right the picnic has officially begun maverick's already on her second course of macaroni mommy how is it good good goose good good set up i set Perfectly, I set all this up. Yep, she passed everything out. So, is this better or worse than out of the beach, or about um, the same? I like the outdoors more because, like, I can actually put my feet in. I can feel the water, like, yeah. And but there's no sand in your butt crack. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there's always pluses and minuses to everything. But this is very fun. Very nice job, guys. Nice guy, dear mommy.
my idea. Oh, it was your idea? Oh, okay. Nice idea, Goose. Sorry, Mom. Good morning, guys. It is still pouring down rain here. Yeah, you tell a Maverick. And unfortunately, this is what we're having to pack up in today because today is a travel day. I really don't want to go out there, you guys. But we're staying positive. Staying positive. Okay, not sure what happened, but to the woman who pulled us over, thank you very much. Well, that sucks. So, uh, we just got flashed down by someone, thankfully, thank you, I didn't even get your name, who literally cut us off, turned her hazards on, and made us stop, because this is what's happening in the back of our truck right now. What are we gonna do? I don't know. So, I don't even, I don't even know what to do from here. I am thankful it could be a lot worse, like the bike could be gone, the bumper could have ripped off, but it looks like, it looks like just the hitch part snapped. Obviously the rack itself is gonna have to be replaced as well. I just don't know where we're gonna put the bike and what we're gonna do with it. Like, maybe inside the trailer? I don't know, but I'm gonna put you guys away. We'll let you know what happens. How will we get it inside? <sighs> okay guys, here's what's going on right now. So, we are literally parked on the side of the freeway. Thank you again to the random lady, I'm sorry I didn't get your name, that pulled us over and told us our bike was, a, she was like, I think you're about ready to lose your thing on the back, or your bike. And the funny thing is, is we get comments and people telling us that our bike is shaking all over the place all the time. So I kind of wrote it off, but thankfully she literally made us pull it to the side of the road. And I went back there and looked and the bike was literally, as you guys saw, dragging on the ground sparking but I am so happy from what I can tell it looks like not only is the bike 100% okay like nothing happened to it from what I can tell but the bumper and the trailer looks like they're okay the only thing that is broken is the the mount itself that attaches to the bumper snapped and then the uh, dirt bike rack was <laughs> grinding on the ground as she said there were sparks flying out the back of the trailer so that needs to be replaced. So I am hoping, here's the, here's the struggle right now. Here's what we're trying to figure out. What do we do? Because we can't get the bike mounted and we're on the side of the freeway. So our options were like trying to get the bike inside the trailer, uh, unhooking and going and buying the parts we need and coming back and putting it on. Or what I think we're gonna do is I'm gonna lock the bike to the railing here on the side of the freeway drive to the Walmart, which is only like five miles away, fingers crossed they have the parts we need, come back here, park on the side of the freeway next to the bike, get it back mounted again, and then get the bike on there. All while it's pouring down rain on my dad. So, anyways, that's what I think we're gonna do, but, but I don't know. The other option is we do have AAA, and I guess we could try and call them and have them like just tow the bike to the Walmart. I don't know if that's a thing. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, so that's what we're trying to figure out right now. While it's raining and while... Uh, couldn't have been a nice day today. Couldn't have been a nice day. But we're staying positive. Everybody is safe. The dog's safe. Nothing's happened to the trailer. The bike, theoretically, is okay. So we're staying positive. Oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. Talk about a crazy week. Okay, guys. We made it to Camping World. Thank you, Triple A. And again, thank you to the woman who stopped us. That was so appreciated. Here's daddy. Yay, we made it to camping world. Fixing okay, guys. things. So last I talked to you, I think we weren't sure what was going on, whether we were gonna get AAA or what, but we got AAA, took forever. It was a pain in the booty, but we're here and camping world had the part we needed and the rack still seems like it's in good enough shape that we can use it until I can order a new one. Uh, which will hopefully be very soon. I just wish it wasn't raining. <laughs> it's been a long day, hasn't it, kiddo? Yeah? It's rainy and icky, and we haven't really needed, um, my hair is lovely. Um, we haven't really needed rain jackets. Goose has one, but Mavericks always seem to be able to go from car to whatever, and no big deal, but she's been in her car seat for forever, and we still have like four hours to get there, so. Ooh, 
she gets to wear mine. And she's freaking out because she wants to walk. But I don't have shoes on her, so I should go get some shoes. All right, good job. Oh, keep it on there. Nice. Way to go, love. I love how she's wearing a tank top and rain boots in the rain, Mom. Don't look at me. I told her to put on a jacket. All right, should Daddy finish it? Nope. All right, I think you're good. Thank you, love. <laughs> I don't even, I don't even know where to go from here. But let's let's start with quick synopsis of now that I've had some time to think about it, what's happened, how we fixed it, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. We have officially made it to the campsite, so our little fix did work. But we're basically running the exact same setup that we were before that failed. It's a different hitch that we have on there that you saw me and Goose installing but it's the same weight rating. So if we continue with just that hitch, we will probably have another failure again. So my plan is to do this. I am going to buy a second hitch of a similar weight rating. So that way, instead of uh, one 400 pound weight rating hitch, we'll have two 400 weight pound rating hitches and then get a two by two steel or aluminum beam to then attach that mount to the other side of the rack. So the rack for the dirt bike has two attachment points, which should do two things for us. One, it'll distribute the load among the two hitches, which should keep a failure like this, an epic failure like this from happening again. But also it should reduce the wobble that we would get going down the road, which I think will help keep the bumper and the bumper attachment sturdier and stronger and less likely from having a failure there uh, and just to be clear it wasn't the bumper it wasn't uh the mountain lock uh things attached where we did the welding points and all that that's all fine it was just the hitch attachment like that sixty dollar hitch attachment that you can buy at anywhere and everywhere that's what failed as insane as today was it could have been so much worse we could have lost the bike entirely the bike could have hit somebody else's car and caused some sort of massive accident so there could have been like human injuries or even more serious things so i am thankful that as insane as it was it was as easy of a fix and as minimal damage both monetarily and mentally physically everything than it could have been so until next time guys remember even if your dirt bike falls off the back of your fifth wheel stay positive get out there life is an adventure so make some memories <laughs>